So this is Lori Solomon. She's one of my top teachers in San Francisco Bay Area. And we are in the first Air X program. And I wanted to take a moment to sit down and have a little chat, a little interview with each teacher that has been practicing with me for a while, and have them share their experience as well as what has brought them to continue the training and focus on the regenerative therapeutics and the importance of that. So I thought it would just be nice to start out just thanking Lori for her commitment and her continued belief in the program and in me and how much she has given to both me personally as a friend and, a, and <clears throat> the founder of the program as well as how much she believes in aerial yoga play. It's been wonderful to see you grow and be part of this journey with you. You really kind of stuck by and saw the vision with me from like the very first, you know, or original seeds of it. So that really means a lot to me and I'm so happy that you could make it to the first Eric training. It just feels so appropriate to have you here. So thank you so much. And um, whatever you'd like to share would be wonderful. Like what brought you to the swings? What brought you to aerial yoga play? What have you been experiencing over the last couple of years? And then we'll talk about Eric. first used the swings after having a regular yoga practice for maybe 15 years and um, I was starting to go into perimenopause and my body just wasn't feeling as juicy and yummy as I used to feel mm -hmm. and one class in the swing just brought so much yumminess and uh, stretch and joy back into my body that it was hard not to do the swings after that. Um, and then I do feel when I teach, because I've been teaching yoga about 16 years, that the swing does the same thing for my students. So we need different bodies of, to handle different yoga postures differently with good or not so good alignment. And the swings have this amazing uh, strategy to create correct alignment from the beginning and then build from the correct alignment meaning the spine is elongated and so there's this integration through all of the asanas that is so hard to achieve on the ground <laughs> so it's quite powerful magical simple practical mm -hmm. all at the same time mm -hmm. yeah that's amazing thank you for getting that it's such a big deal and i do call it like a truth serum in a way, when you get somebody in the swing, it, it immediately shows what's coming up in the body, for one. You can just see the alignment very clearly. And then it also holds people in that integrity, in that integration, where it's easier to find the space and find the place where everything comes back into balance. So that's really great. And then if you don't mind me sharing a little bit more about your personal journey, I would love to just kind of give you major props for what you've been through in the last few months and the fact that you're here and sitting in Lotus and have been doing this incredible job in the Eric's program and how we can create a really specialized way for you to use the swing to help other people. Would that be okay? Sure. Yeah. So when hmm, I came into this world, I had slightly abnormal hips which became a problem in my late 40s. I had, had severe osteoarthritis in my right hip. The swings immediately, because you're supported in all your movements, I was very comfortable in the swings and sometimes more comfortable than on the ground, <laughs> <laughs> which you might find mm -hmm. some people with certain conditions will find. Um, and then also the aspect of the swings that do the tissue, um, the 
release, integration, massage on your body is the perfect way for me to get into the muscles that were starting to brace and stiffen and be very congested. So if you've ever received deep body work right in the groin and the hip, it's quite intense and painful. It's, it can be difficult for the practitioner to get in there with the swings. And basically by hanging in different positions on the joint, I was able to release 360 degrees and be much more comfortable for a very long time. So three, four months ago, the joint just became too damaged and I decided to get a hip replacement. So really I can't, I can't accurately say how much the swings did for my rehab because they were already part of my life and something I did every day. Mm -hmm. But I have to say everyone who observed me rehabbing and coming back after the surgery was like, oh my God, mm -hmm. like how can you do all this three, four weeks in? Mm -hmm. um, in addition, before I had the surgery, most people looking at me would say, there's nothing wrong with you. Why, why do you need a hip replacement? Because the swings, again, they allow me to experience pain-free, joyful, expansive, vague as I want movement, which I mm -hmm. could not always do on the ground. <laughs> so it was more like walking and things like that that you were having more difficulty with. Walking and then there were certain positions that I had to avoid altogether, which is kind of strange to walk around in the world with a body and then, oh, if I internally rotate my thigh and fold, I will be in excruciating pain. So that was the component that made me decide to have this surgery because that was just not going away mm -hmm. and it was getting worse. Um, yeah, and just share a little bit because I know that you've gone to physical therapy and they, because you, of course, want quick progress, right? <laughs> and you're like, oh, this is taking so long. <laughs> but from the external point, point of view and the feedback you got, have gotten, especially from your physical therapist, that you've been on this like upper echelon of the recovery versus right, a right. lot of other people. Some places where you were average, um, but most of the experience that they saw was that they were just incredibly impressed and um, curious, surprised by the, uh, the acceleration of your recovery. So just talk a little bit about that. Well, for one thing, my walking was sort of on par with what a normal patient would, you know, have to slowly regain comfortable walking. I could certainly walk right away, mm -hmm. but it wasn't that great. Um, mm -hmm. But they were really like, wow, you don't have to work on flexibility at all. It's like, I because I kept my soft tissue so healthy, it was all there after the surgery. Um, so it came back quite quickly. Um, and just having something, I don't know, when you have issues with the hips, usually the low back gets unhappy too. Yes. So the first thing I was able to do with the swing was just make more space in my back because after the surgery it was like, oh my gosh. And get it back <laughs> even, right? Yeah, as there's a lot of discrepancy or asymmetry that happens with this kind of surgery for people, for sure. And for sure I already had asymmetry in my back. I think one of the reasons why this swing feels so good is because it creates that symmetry in your spine from the get-go. <laughs> Whereas in asana, you've got like several imbalances going on in your body and it's almost impossible to, right. you can do like, oh, well, I can get this up, but right. you know, it's so hard to get everything lined up around the plumb line. Mm -hmm. So again, yeah, that was great. Beautiful. And I just wanted to again, give you major accolades for, you know, really training with me in depth. We've worked together on your tip for many years. You've come to me as a client in my healing practice and also have trained with me in my other technologies and using those technologies. So this is a comprehensive healing program that we've developed together. And the swing has been like a major component for the 
for the hip and for the healing, but also for the whole body. So this idea that the swing helps us reinforce a new posture and a new alignment, where in a practice, even any sort of fitness or exercise, we tend to reinforce the misalignment and we develop the musculature um, unevenly and then the, the injury kind of perpetuates itself. So what I'd like to do, and thank you, Lori, that was beautiful. I really appreciate your, your sharing and you're willing to sit down with me and talk about your journey. I just wanted, because um, your situation right now is really unique and you could specialize in anything with the swings, you know, women's health or hormones or menopause or anything like that, but I thought it'd be fun to go over the hip sequencing that you've been doing and also go over the hip sequencing that you and I started out with where we're really digging in there because I do this with a lot of hips. Any sort of lower back or a hip injury, you don't have to have like any sort of arthritis or anything like that. Any sort of discomfort, which is most people I know. Um, we're going to dig into the hip joints using the swing to kind of doing some of this myofascial and neuromuscular work and structural integration and really tractioning and creating space in there. And then I just wanted to show um, just a quick video, maybe we'll do like five, ten minutes of what you did specifically, because I know you were able to get in the swing almost every day, and show me what you were doing for your hip. I know everything in the swing is good for the hip, which we talked about, but we're going to create a real specialized sequencing for anybody who's experiencing hip pain, or anybody who's actually gone through a hip replacement, and how we can help them recover more quickly, get their full range of motion, get their strength back. And just remember that walking, the thing that the swing doesn't <clears throat> reinforce was kind of normalized with the rest of the group. So there are certain things that you'll have to do in addition to the swing. And it's a nice complement to the physical therapy instead of a replacement. And now the AirX program, before we get into our new routine, the AirX program is specifically geared towards regenerative therapeutics. So the name aerial yoga play can be extremely deceiving for anybody who isn't aware and um, had a personal experience with the swing and how therapeutic it is, it can feel really intimidating, especially if somebody's had a knee replacement or a hip replacement. There's no way they're going to do aerial. So this is not your, your grandma's aerial program. We are actually rebranding it as AirX, Aerial Yoga RX, which is the regenerative therapeutics. And that is specifically to give people an opportunity to feel and get the benefits of the spine and the healing of the spine, uh, which everyone has a spine. So we're all good. And the alignment and the balance and the strength and the flexibility, the relief that comes to specifically the nervous system, the lymphatic system, the endocrine system, how that interfaces with our energy managers of the body, the chakra system, as well as all of the hormones and glands, digestion, immune. I know it sounds like this is too good to be true, like it's impossible that all these systems could benefit from the swing, which they can from most exercise, but we are we are gearing this program to emphasize and to highlight how these different sequences can benefit each part of the body. So we, <clears throat> we can work with the upper and lower bodies, which means neck and shoulder injuries, as well as lower back and hip problems. I myself have gone through two ACL reconstructions um, at a really young age, and so for the last 20 years, I have been navigating and managing knee injuries pretty much chronically, and uh, the swing has been my saving grace. You know, this is, I've been practicing in the swings for about 15, 20 years before actually making my own version to make this extremely comfortable to um, support injuries in a way that allows you to go deeper. So I particularly have dedicated my life to the healing arts and want to help people with injuries. So the Eric's program is going to be geared specifically to address these problems. Okay, so just tell me a little bit about your body work experience and how you're involved with the healing arts and what brought you to the Eric's. I mean, it's obvious, but let's just talk about it for our folks yeah. who are watching. So I have done therapeutic body work for a <laughs> I took a few years off from high school while I was gone. Right. Um, and I didn't do it full time for a few years, but basically I've been doing it for 30 years. So, as you know, um, sometimes you get great results with people, and sometimes you can get a swing that you just can't get anywhere with. So, the swings is this new powerful way to work with people and 
just has a much broader range than when they're just laying on a table. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can move them around, but they're basically on this rectangle, mm -hmm. <laughs> and the swings allow you to work use gravity to do the work yes. making our yeah. job way yeah. better yeah, yeah. Yes. so that's very <laughs> that's <my> exciting <laughs> to have just completely new ways to use my body to take the stress off of this position and be able to use my legs and my core and um and being more effective right just being more effective in bringing the results to clients that they need for me, um, thank you for letting me just chime in, but for me, it's like an empowerment tool. You know, I use this as a vehicle for transformation, and I want to give people something they can do every day. I love that my clients are so dedicated, and they come to me, like, every week, and we've been working together forever, and we get <clears throat> progress and make, res make um, the results easier. They come easier with the body work and with all the different types of healing. But the swing is something that anybody can take home after we show them how to use it and give them something that they can do every day and feel like they're really strong and empowered and participating in the healing journey, right? I think I just have this clear picture of how on the table you can put your hands and help move in <laughs> a couple of places, but you can really work the whole body in the swing and mm -hmm. most issues have a component that's from the whole body, not from a specific area. So you get to just look at the whole pattern and then remove it. So it's pretty powerful. So we're learning one of the components of the AIRX is the yoga sage, and we will actually post some more videos about what that looks like and how we're working the whole body systems and seeing the patterns and the integration points between them all. So stay tuned for that. But we're going to do a second, we're going to do a part two. We're just going to pause this so we can come up with our hip routines. And I just have to give you a big hug. Thank you. You know how much I love you. <laughs> I appreciate you. And this has been so great for having to sit down with you and have a chat. Anyway, thank you, Lori. I look forward to more.